Okay, so right here we have seated figure four internal rotation. I'll kind of break it down for you. So seated on your butt. Okay, that's easy. Figure four, that's one right here. We have kind of like a angle right here. So this guy's in 90 degrees with your knee and your hip. And this guy's in 90 degrees. So we want to be facing the wall right here. You're trying to get this guy out away from our body straight, okay? And this guy down at a 90 degree angle. Same thing, this guy out from our body straight, out at a 90 degree angle. So that's like the figure four position right there, okay? So if we're here, we're focusing on this back leg with this seated internal rotation type of activation. So right here, you wanna keep your knee on the ground. First of all, this is a really tough position for you to even get in like it is for me. Like right here, my hip flexor's already yelling at me a little bit. Um, so you can kind of tell, all right, if this guy's already hurt, that means maybe we're a little bit tight or maybe your body's trying to compensate for a little bit of anything. So wherever you feel tight, wherever you feel like, oh my gosh, this is does not feel natural or normal, take a mental note of that and think, okay, you know, maybe I gotta reach out to Kels and figure out what's going on there. Right? I can help you out, I promise. Um, so figure four, internal rotation. Remember, knees on the ground right here, trying to get keep this parallel to whatever wall we're at. So we don't want to turn into our body, even though right now my body wants to. We need to keep it parallel to whatever wall we're facing. So right here, try to lift that back, ankle off the ground, relax. Here, ankle, relax. Here, ankle, relax. So you see this back foot, come on, here, push it up. This back foot is what we're working. You should feel this deep in your hip right here like I do because it is on fire. So here, go here, go here, go, here. go. okay, then you flip it around. Same thing, out directly from you, on parallel to whatever wall I'm facing, 90 degrees right here, out right away from me, 90 degrees right here. So if I'm here, you can't see it, but I'm looking at my black back leg. This one's my problem, child size. It's a little bit hard. Keeping this knee down. And relax. Here down. Relax. Here down. Okay. This is actually a lot better than what I was doing four weeks ago. So I'm telling you, this works if you just work on it right here. But big thing is try to keep this guy parallel to whatever way you're facing. Your hips and your whole torso should be facing the same part, okay? You don't want to be here. You don't want to be over here. Keep this guy tall, like I'm pulling you from the top of your head, and keep in this position right here, okay? Try to keep this knee down, raise that, just that ankle above, okay? Keep that foot flat, raise your ankle, and relax. You should feel it deep in your hips right here. So feel it deep in your hips, we're working, because that's the internal rotation that we need to work on. And a little tidbit, if you're squatting, and you feel that hip pinch that deep down your that means, oh my gosh, like our internal, something's going on, you know. Our body's trying to tell us something with that hip pinch. A lot of times we lack that internal rotation to be able to. Or our body's lacking stability, so it tries to collapse down on itself. So really work on this and get that range of motion where we need it at our hip.